Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spala. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avalach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. I wonder where he is now. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morin, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalog? He's not let me down to date. Not once. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin. On horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Eridan to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. Welcome back, child. Siri! <laughs> My, you've grown beautiful. No point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. All just like I remembered. What? Little sis. Here, everyone you asked for help. Avalox resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. Damn, it's good to see you again. Glad to see you, Triss. <laughs> <laughs> 